Bruce Lambourne Stables has trained many champion jumpers of the past season. Bruce Hobbs, rider of Battleship, past Grand National winner, has brought his wife along to study for. Fulk Walwyn, once well-known jockey who runs the stables, is training a newcomer to take the jumps. As a flat race horse, Good Days won the Irish Cesarevich. How will it face up to the hurdles? Let's try again. That's a bit better. Now once more. Getting the hang of it. And now Warwell himself rides it over the hurdle. Race girls should be hearing more of the name Good Days. Some more experienced horses trained by Warwick. Kipper Kite, winner of three staple chases during the past season. Rose Din, who won four hurdle races off the reel. Leap Ban is probably a dark horse of the future. He hasn't run any races yet, but he's being schooled over the fences by Walwyn, who has big plans for him. And now let's watch the string out at exercise on the downs. This is Walwyn's first peacetime season as a trainer. He started in 1939 after a bad fall which brought his riding days to an end. Then the war came and he joined up. Now his jockeys, Frenchy Nicholson and Sean McGee, are glad to see him back. And so's his wife, who kept the stable going while he was away. Fulk Walwyn's most treasured trophy is the Jockey's Cup for the Grand National which he won in 1936. What a race to remember. Many hot tips, but those who knew said, watch Reynolds start. That tense moment of waiting and then they're off. Over they come, a massed field. So far it's anybody's race, but the terrific pace tells and some as usual drop out. The field is beginning to thin a bit, but there is still enough to make it a hotly contested race. And then a murmur starts in the crowd. Reynolds Town's creeping up. Yes, it's Reynolds Town's race. Nothing short of a miracle could take it away from him now. Reynolds Town wins, Fulk Walwyn up. That was ten years ago. He doesn't ride now, but he's still winning. <laughs> 